The reason I'm making this video has everything to do with the New York State legislation update. And we're sitting here in April 2019, even as a medical card carrier where there's not even access to cannabis flowers and cannabis edibles and topicals in the dispensary that I have access to that tuning in here on Wellness Hero channel, IMBW, give you an update in April of 2019, the situation with cannabis in New York State, because I'm going to show you and have some links in the description box below to some of the articles where cannabis was left out of the budget in New York State, so it is temporarily postponed for adult legalization, and to me, that is really a great thing, because home cultivation was left out of that proposal and that is a massive massive issue with ending prohibition and that has to deal with the history of what we're faced with the prohibition of cannabis and again we got to use the word cannabis we have to be educated when we're speaking about the history of it ending prohibition has to deal with rolling back the clock just simply 80 years just going back 80 years in the United States of America and seeing that this was openly grown, there was like no zero restriction at all. There wasn't even the name marijuana, and that in itself is only 80 years old, both those things. So the fact that home cultivation wasn't a part of what's going on with the legalization and adult use of cannabis in New York State in 2019. The cannabis and an entire office of cannabis management was going to be created and all these policies on regulating it for both the medical and the recreational adult use. And that did not pass. It was completely, all the legislation was removed for cannabis in the budget proposal that was approved in April, just two days ago in 2019. And the only chance for cannabis to be legalized for adult use in New York State will be by the end of June for the, the end of the session and term for the government. Now, that's where this kind of gets wishy-washy because um, with this legislation update, one of the things that we're going to see is that there was a really big problem. Um, and the big problem we see had to deal with a document was revealed, and that document basically just talks about a displeasure, a displeasure that two big cannabis industry created the legislation for the proposal that was in the budget that was not approved, and it had no home cultivation growing. And that's kind of an alarming thing, especially when we're looking at true access to medicine. As I sit here in New York State, we don't have true medical cannabis. There's no edibles, there's no flowers. I am a medical card carrier of cannabis in New York State. I do not support the 10 dispensaries that are statewide. There's only one in my area within um, a 40 minute drive of my house where I pay taxes on, where I'm not allowed to home cultivate as a medical card carrier. That is a problem because there's medicine in the roots and there's no THC or CBD in the roots. Eating the flowers, it, THCA, an 11 year old child can eat cannabis leaves and affect their CBD1 and CBD2 receptors. We're not actually talking about true medicine here because uh, the information I just shared with you about eating the leaves and having access to the roots is not what any of this is about. This is all about revenue and dollars and it's all about the persona of smoking the cannabis plant which is fine and dandy smoke the cannabis plant through deep medicine so when we see a home cultivation ban immediately in the first proposal i am grateful it did not pass for that simple aspect that i don't want it to start off that way of course we're not going to start off with it getting it right and truly accessing you know the proper protocols and saying hey this is going to work out this is going to do but i'm going to link all the the articles where i have information from but it's very relieving to see that it's going back to the drawing board i'm not looking to my government to approve anything but me as a new york state resident that pays taxes on the land that i rent from the government 
it just seems that growing a plant 80 years ago would have totally been allowed in abundance. And now at home cultivation should be absolutely mandatory. That, that is how prohibition ends and to be grown outside so we're not increasing the carbon footprint. So do your own diligence. It's a false aspect of the legalization that's happening across the United States. You have diverse, different, different, different rules and regulations by the overlords in each state. California is not like Michigan, which is not like Vermont. It should also be that way in some way aspect, but that creates significant regulation and restrictions. New York State has demonstrated that this is only about money. There was never a medical program. It's bogus to even say that. When we're seeing the word marijuana, that in itself is uneducated. Again, 80 years ago, that word did not even exist. And the truth of the matter is, Growing it at home is how you access real medicine. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for full plant spectrum to be able to do whatever the hell we want in our homes, growing it outside in our front lawn with the kale, oh kale yeah, with the broccoli, with the strawberries, with the other fruits and vegetables, with food being dye medicine, cannabis being dye medicine. Let's as everyone likes to say, get it right. And the problem we have in New York State is that the proposal was written by big business. They excluded home cultivation. They were also rushing a lot of things through. And it really had only to do with dollar signs. And there is the small little topic of social injustice that may be true. But if we want access to cannabis, we want to end prohibition, we need full plant access. It doesn't matter. This is not harmful. And the paradigm that it is harmful has come across it being illegal for 80 years, being demonized. And now we're at the spot where people can educate themselves. So New York State does not look like it's going to happen in 2019. And that is where we stand. So get through this and figure out what the hell is going on. Thank you.